Hey people, Intrate here, 3v3, Hades Wastes, Blue Team, Captain Proton as a Chaos Sorcerer, Offensive and Disruptive Hero with powerful battlefield manipulation and control alongside Rambo as an Inquisitor, Offensive Hero with powerful control abilities begins in melee but can get specialised ranged weapons. Rounding off the team, where are you? There you are, Gipoit. Still not sure how to say this name. With a Farseer, a support hero fighting in melee with some powerful buffs and control. This is the Oathway DLC. Red team, couple of commandos, Schmooze Operator and Chunky Coats. These guys are infiltrating heroes that shoot you, stab you and blow you up. Orky style, begin with a twin link shooter. I think, are they using the same color scheme? That's going to make things tricky. And rather than off the teams, Zoranda with another Farseer. Over on the east side, it's a Farseer mirror. Elsewhere, Western contested VP turns red thanks to the commando knobs. Some CSM taking some pop shots through the mid. Las guns pew pew on the commando. Inquisitor should maybe go to tie up those shooters, but she's quite low. Gonna stay on the commando. It's a good stun bomb. Here comes the Sentinel. I think he ran into their own stun bomb there, the commando. Slugger's now picking up the slack. Inquisitor gets very low. Sentinel does not have the ground pound yet to protect her. And she just stops retreating. Okay, she's got... She's all right. She worked out how to run again. Over on the west side. A bunch of melee going on. Heretics in amongst some shooter boys. Sorcerer knocks back the commando knob. And those Chaos Space Marines are tracking down the shooter boys. And easily dealing with them in melee. Commando's getting some DPS on though. Able to run away from the sorcerer and shoot as they move. Now the CSM melee the commando. Maybe getting him down here. Down he goes. Misjudged it there. Did Shmoo's operator a bit. Trying to save those shooter boys and keep them in play. Probably wasn't worth it. I guess they didn't want to just retreat off and concede a bunch of territory. Inquisitor in amongst double shooters here. Have pushed all the way up into base sure why to try and finish something off I suppose these guardsmen are down to a single model they were probably trying to grab those guys and shoot them to death but couldn't quite get it done what's this it's some guardians trying to decap the natural victory point of the red team shuriken cannon on the field for Zoranda Gipoit with howling banshees into some rangers Going to need to use those grenades effectively, Zoranda. Oh, they don't have any up yet to keep those banshees at bay. The shuriken was helpful, of course, but they can get around it relatively easily on this map, I think. Especially if they have fleet up. They don't yet. They don't have their aspect yet. Can they get the sorcerer? They can. DPS of those commander knobs is quite nice. Should get revived, I think, eventually. Catechon Devils on the field for Rambo now. Where are they? They're joining the fray. They can get that grenade launcher barrage. There we go. On the double shooter blob there. And here's the revive. Should level the Inquisitor, I think, or get very close to it. Ah, oh, couldn't quite do it. Very close to leveling, though. No. Bang, she's almost wiping. What happened? They got caught in a bad spot by the Shuriken. We do have one battle equipment up for the Guardians. Not sure about Gipoid. Gipoid has two battle equipments up on their Guardians. Doom Bolts flies in as a mini Doom Bolts though. Kind of an awkward place there for Captain Proton, but they recover well with some melee aspiring champion heretics with that sentinel support alongside them. Inquisitor getting stuck in as well. Might be worth grabbing vestments of the warp just to shut down the double shooters a bit quicker. Shooter boys here getting big shooters now. Blue team retain the west side and they're making a run at the central power, it looks like. 441, 428 on the VPs. Captain Proton, double CSM. With Eternal War on both, that's a bunch of firepower in tier one. Supported by some Zinchian worship. And I think that is Vestments of the Warp now up for the Sorcerer. Yep, you can see the little arrow icon above their indicator there. And they be power bashing. Sluggers have Burners. Storm Boys now in play for Schmooze Operator. So they could get on the double CSM and mess them up quite badly with power weapons. But the Catechins will be there to 
shotgun them, perhaps. Stun bomb. Mainly dodged. That one fella got hit. It's going to mess up the coherency of the squad. And he dies. Orcs trying to approach effectively from multiple angles here. Double CSM are quite a solid core, but if the Storm Boys can get onto them, there's the ground pound. Nicely done by Rambo. Double Catechon Devils now for Rambo. They did lose some some guardsmen along the way. Seems to be a bunch of bodies right here, actually. Shooter Boys get out. But they did a decent job of kicking off the fight and drawing a bunch of attention in. Allowing the shooter boys to get the DPS on, allow the commandos to get the DPS on. Speaking of DPS, down goes the Inquisitor. Guardian weapon team gets away with the Shuriken. Banshee's having a run at the Farseer, but she gets away. Any war gear for any of these Farseers? Doesn't look like it. Inquisitor did let, hit level 2, almost to level 3 actually, before she went down. And uh, yeah, maybe tricky to get her off that natural VP of the other team. Maybe Gipoid can push through and revive. They do have the contested power point on the east side, the red team. Fully populated as well. They have tons of power income right now. Plus 69 per minute. Maybe we'll see a tier 3 rush from one or both of the orcs with that power income. Doesn't look like they're going to lose that power anytime soon as well. We see Zoranda pushing up this side. Pew Pew on the Farseer. She gets in, starts poking them, but they can split and shoot and split and shoot. She should have stayed on the other squad, I think, because they've got more models to shoot her with. I think they're going to get rid of her. Meanwhile, on the west side, a bunch of orcs come into the VP to try and grab it. Blue team have the other contested power with one gen on it. There's the decap. They should be able to grab it, I think. Meanwhile, the Farseer tried to poke the power a bit. There's that Shuriken covering this eastern approach. They can get around using the flank there. Just missed the Doom Bolts, I think. The sneaky commandos coming in. They will be spotted by the aspiring champion of those heretics. There's Vestments of the Warp teleporting in the Sorcerer. Sluggers are there to counter-initiate them. They got a decent special in, and now Banshees join the fray. All the way from the east side. Orcs got really messed up there. I think they lost the squad. The smoke shell, or rather a smoke grenade, thrown in by the Catechins who defend their Sentinel there. From ranged fire. And now the Sentinel has missile launchers. Well, a missile launcher. Firing missiles. Did they? Oh, wow. Gipoit just lost their entire army. Bunch of dead stuff over here. I'm not sure what happened. Whoops, they say. Lose all, indeed. Grenades, maybe? Huge losses. No idea what happened. I was watching this west side. Fire dragons on the way now for Zaranda. Chunky coats with a truck. Gipoit with Wraithguard. Which could be amazing if they can stop the Farseer instantly getting in there and tying them up. The Farseer of Gipoit also went down. That's quite sloppy over there. They're going to need a hand, I think. Rambo needs to go over, maybe, and help them out. Maybe Rambo could throw down a Bane Wolf and send it over there. 365 to 334 on the VPs. Sorcerer. Trying to get a revive and now all three blue heroes are down. They are reeling at the start of tier 2 here. And red team really turned the screw now. Need that western VP back and they need to push power aggressively. Here's the fire dragons of Zoranda. Anti-everything squad from relatively short range. They have decent mobility though and they're relatively tough. They have heavy infantry armor. Over a thousand hit points when you have the Exarch on their squad. They get a big fire pipe gun, which I imagine does more DPS than the other fusion guns. You can also swap it out for a flamer if you really want to bash power or mess up groups of infantry. Hell Fury Strike dropped in there by Rambo, trying to defend their power. Red team are swarming, supported 
by a war truck which is taking missile launcher shots. The war truck allows those orcs or any of the red team's units to reinforce off it if they're infantry. But the Catatrins are on it with their Sarge. Their Sarge has a melter gun. Looks like the war truck has left. Inquisitor went down again. Can we get revived by Gepoit? There we go. Sorcerer is kind of far away. They might be able to get to them though eventually. Full power bash here by the red team. Ouch. Catatrins white. Blue team really feeling the pressure now. Can they break out and start a turnaround? Captain Proton has some Plague Marines. They had to get more heretics up. Schmooze operator with a commando squad on the way in tier 3. So Randall also goes tier 3. And they have tons of red. So they could drop a nuke and Eldritch Storm. Tier 3 for Rambo. Gipoit trying to recover here. Has the Wraith Guard up. And does have their hero up. Need to be cautious not to get too deep into fights they can't deal with with only one unit on the field. Commando being sneaky. There's a... St oh, stick bombs, not a stun bomb. Went for the boom boom. A one-to-one -one cap. VPs are pretty even. Blue team not out of it yet. But they need to do really well to... Uh, that was the commander that's grappling hooking all across there. Need to do really well in their fights now. Additions, shotgun blast in the Guardians. And now closing from melee where they, where they will handily win. Grenade. Killed one of them. Oh, two of them. Okay, they got them out of there. Commando decapping the VP now. More Wraith God on the way for Gipoit. On the west side, Blue Team's other powers being decapped now. And here we see double CSM with Slaughter active. Really messing up those sluggers. When they use the Slaughter ability, it means that their ranged weapons have a lower cooldown. They can also draw melee weapons though, while it's active and become quite a formidable melee squad actually. It's only regular melee damage I believe, but they can pack a punch and they get more health regen and stuff while they do that. There's Slaughter on the other squad and they've drawn their melee weapons, have they? Nope. They're staying in range. Just pumping out some DPS. Now they've drawn their melee weapons. Apparently they just don't know where their chainsaws are if they're not in a slaughtering rage. Meanwhile, through the mid, more power bashing by the fire dragons. Wraith Guard being tied up in melee, which they do not like to be. And they're forced off the field. I think double Wraith Guard is a decent way to recover, especially if you have a lot of allied support. But Rambo's reeling a bit themselves here. So it might be tricky to use them to full effect to get those big bursts of damage. Trying to take out the war truck, maybe. West side is blue. Wow. Captain Proton kind of carrying a bit here at the moment. But the Eldar coming in to flank them. And that's a sneaky commander that they can't see. It's just the guy with... No, they have just kaboom. Okay. Just sneak up and blow yourself up. CSM in a bad way. Hawk in retreats. The commando really messed up their stick bomb throw there. Just chucked them all on himself for some reason. This click, I suppose. Looks like we have the rune armor for Psychic Storm there. Nice tool to have against a bunch of orcs. Yeah, those sluggers got dealt with. In fact, they almost wiped, but the Farseer went down again. Where's the Inquisitor? They're in the mid. Proton should be able to revive the Farseer for sure. Get a chunk of XP. And they have Icon of Zinch for the Curse of Zinch. But now there's a Seer Council in their face. And that's a very effective counter for Wraith God. Not only are they super quick on their feet so they don't get hit, they can jump on you. And then once they're there, tons of power melee damage to slice you up. They also grant a damage resistance aura to those Wraith Cannons if they do get some shots off. Rambo with a Bane Blade on the way. Chunky Coats with a Orc Battle Wagon on the way. 
far, uh, Fire Prism now for Kipoi. They did lose some Wraith God. That was a good Hell Fury strike there. And Kadakun is doing some decent work. Massive mob of Orcs though. Supported by that War Trader. Haven't been able to deal with it yet. Blake Marine's getting a shot there. Stormboy's jumping in with their knob leader. Thought twice about going after the Plague Marines since it explode on them. War Truck is getting low. Plague Marines aren't firing on it anymore though. And here's the Bane Blade. Now they are up against an enemy Eldar player that could drop a nuke on it. And Orcs of course always bring a bunch of upfront damage. So we'll see how this Bane Blade does here. Commando squads on the field for Schmooze Operator, two of them, and both of those can get rocket launchers on the Commando Knob, as you can see there. The Commando Knobs themselves, they in command, can get rocket launchers. This guy's down though. So potentially huge amounts of anti vehicle can be brought to bear. They've got fire dragons up as well, the red team. Here's the fire prism with Gapoit. Long range fire support that can disrupt, but is quite vulnerable to any type of AV with only 500 hit points and it can take rear arm hits and stuff as well. Look at this though. Something got through here and grabbed the VP. Using a webway over here maybe, Gipoit. Perhaps it was the Farseer herself using the webways. Trying to shoot down those shields. Not sure what this Bane Bait is up to showing its rear arm here. Needs to spin around. Sneaky Commando still being sneaky. Surprised they haven't instantly gone for their own rocket launcher. I guess they can't afford it right now. And there's your battle wagon. Got some units inside of it. You can tell by those light bars there. I don't know why only the battle wagon shows you when units are inside. Taking a bunch of damage already, this battle wagon. Cracked missiles from the Sentinel. Got Plague Marines, got that Bane Blade, got the Fire Prism. Going after the Bane Blade with a time field into some Fire Dragon harassment. Big fight brewing here. Can the blue team get a good result in this fight? Can they get the battle wagon down? That would be huge. Fire Prism's backed off a little bit, being cautious, which is understandable. That represents a lot of Gipoid's army. Here's a rocks on the Bane Blade. He's trying to back out of it. Does have some repair support there. Took some big hits though from the rocks. Somehow this Sentinel's still around. There's heavy bolters on the front of the Bane Blade doing some work and it survives. So did the Battle Wagon though. Getting some repairs back there. 176 to 322. Tons of red for Captain Proton. So you may see Terminators pulled in. They could drop Terminators and still drop their nuke they have enough red. Shrews operated did lose some stuff there but they still have double commandos. And the Orc Tier 3 is so strong they can churn out very dangerous things now. Especially since they have... Oh, they don't have any of the Contested Power. Turning blue over here, look. It's a nice grab for Gipoit. These guys with their Spirit Seer Warlock look and help them move quicker. And see further, looks like they were harassing that VP as well. Red Team pushing to the mid, they got the Fire Prism down. That's guide on the fire dragons are so painful. Look at the range. Repair bunker up looks like and the guards are also repairing. They didn't push against it though. It is a sneaky rocket launcher commando though for chunky coats. Chucking stick bombs in and there's right in me crosshairs. Guards are forced to retreat. Sorcerer coming in to try and tie him up but they used a grappling hook to get away. I guess they figured, hey, I'm not going to solo this Bane Blade right now, so I may as well mess with the guards and cause a little bit of economic pressure. They have to reinforce them. Gipoit now with a D cannon on the field. Captain Proton. I think it's 650 to get Chaos Terminators in. Requisition, that is. So they may be waiting for that. They probably don't want to get a tank with two commandos and those fire dragons around and triple commando squads for Shrews Operator as well. Bane Blade shows itself. Inferno Pistol Inquisitor getting some shots in, so is the Bane Blade of course. Not sure where the Catechins are. Oh, Catechins are right there. 
they seem to be firing on the commandos who just took down the bunker and now the pathogens are being run over that's a singularity which is going to miss i think i think they were aiming for the, the double commandos over here oh wraith guard doing some good work though eh? battle wagons getting very low fire prism not a fire prism the sentinel is using the wrong type of missile though they used to switch back to crack missiles and there we go they got it plague marines helping out as well battle wagon is down they did lose the bunker but i don't think they lost too much else captain proton has lost their heretics along the way these guys are matching power on this side 141 to 285 on the vps looting holding on to this side Wraithguard grabbing this back. Farseer is down for Gipoit. They were trying to get on this VP again, as you can see. Sorcerer also down. Should get revived, though. Inquisitor is ignoring them for now. Revive, says Captain Proton. Oh, looks like Gipoit's going for it. They just repurchased themselves. Oh, Inquisitor's, Inquisitor's going for it now. It's not always easy to see when your allies are down and where they are in the middle of a big old 3v3. Farseer with Boombringer for Zoranda. Runes of Reaping and the Time Peel from Armor of Assyrian that we've seen. Blue team retain the west side though, and they've got their natural. Gipoit needs to defend this with their lives. Keep that 2v1 going. We have a Bright Lance now for Zoranda. Ogrin's on the way for Rambo. Some more Heretics for Proton, and they do have Chaos Terminators in with the Auto Cannon. No Nob Squads yet from the Orcs. They've all gone like Commando Heavy in Tier 3. So that's a decent counter, just a bunch of range of damage back at the commandos. Try and strip them of their models quickly and demoralize. Speaking of commandos, these guys being sneaky getting a decap. Having to ground target here, good point. And they've got the decap into a shuriken though, which suppresses them. What are they up to? Oh, trying to throw their burner bomb. I mean, they got a decap. That was Pergatus from the Inquisitor. Level 6 now. Start to have a big impact in these fights. Do we have Tome of Subjugation? No, we still have the Icon of Zinch. Curse of Zinch is very fun. Shooter boys being shredded. Are they being allowed to die? No, they're not. They are retreating. Here are your Ogrins with their bonehead leader up. Awesome frontline disruption from those guys. They can soak up piercing damage quite well as well. Four commando squads now for Schmooze Operator. I'm surprised they are reinforcing these shooters here. And they are just replacing with them with more commandos, freeing up pop or flash kits or something. Sneaky commando knob here with rocket launcher. What's he up to? Stick bomb in the port and Shuriken just wipes it out and gets a level. Okay, effective. Great God need to retreat now whole bunch of stuff coming on this side. Gipwait needs help. And here comes Proton. And here comes Rambo. They've got to defend that natural victory point. I think the Inquisitor is bashing power in the northwest over there with the Inferno pistol. There's Time Field. I can't see that they've thrown Doom on anything yet. Maybe I'm dismissing it. Ogrin's getting stuck in. massive chunk of hit points that can knock you over. Sluggers come in to counter initiate. And they will do some good damage to the Ogrins. Especially when user red is not available. Ogrins starting to get close to dropping models now. But they've got a lot of DPS support from the Chaos fellas. Able to deal with those sluggers. And they only dropped one model. And there's the retreat. Good play from the Ogrins. Did their job well. Double Ogrins now for Rambo. Look at the resources Zoranda has. Crazy amounts. Here's a Kaboom. Oh, now Gipoit has a Seer Council of their own. Seer Council alongside the double Ogrins could be super effective. They may turn these guys into a... Bulgrin squad because I think they can do that now at just two models and get two models back for being Bulgrins. They don't they, I don't think they can quite pay for it yet. One to one cap here. 
occupates Farsia, stealing the east side and getting the Doombringer of their own. Ignore that tooltip. It's not shooty infantry. I've no idea where it pulls those little tooltips tool from. But most of them are very wrong. Double cap for the blue team. Somehow. Baneblade made a huge difference on that west side. And Rambo has been very solid since then. Used their Inquisitor very well also. Mandate is up now. Inferno Pistol per Gartus, And they bash that power as you can see. Here's a knob squad though. Chunky Coats has a knob squad. That was judgment. They got a judgment off on a knob squad. Gartus slows them down, or rather stuns them for a duration. Now they're in on the Terminators. Down goes the War Truck. Terminators, you're gonna teleport away? Nope. Stand in their ground, and they got rid of the Nob Squad. Now Slugger's on them. Let's double CSM. I hear an Eldritch, and a Rox, and a bunch of Commandos. Down goes a Bane Blade, just as I said. It was doing so well. There's four commandos coming at you with two nukes. There's no way that was going to survive. Rambo, all of a sudden, down to just two units. Did they cancel the second Ogrins? I don't think they did. They just die. Damn it. Here's the new Ogrins. That is a Imperial Abyss from Captain Proton. Hitting some allied Ogrins. I'm not sure what they were aiming at, actually. Those commandos. Yeah, he killed a bunch of Ogrins. That was a weird nuke from Captain Proton. Almost can drop another once it's off cooldown. E cannon on the way for Zoranda. VP lead for the blue team. Maybe Proton can get double terminators up. Because they're doing a good job messing up the commandos quite a lot when they find them. What was that explosion? Was that our oh, stick bombs probably? Down goes the commander knob. 133 three to 100 on the VPs. Red team grabbing that eastern contested power again. Gipoit trying to get their VP back. They do have a fire prism back on the field and those seer council of course. D cannon is also getting shots in. Where is it? Super far away. Do they have guide? No. That's just the range D cannons have, I guess. That was the psychic storm. Looks like it missed everything, though. Rambo showed up with some Ogrins to try and help out. And Captain Proton indeed got double Chaos Terminators. And getting another Reaper Auto Cannon on these guys. 112, 100, Sing single cap for red. It's so close. What is this? That is Ogrins of Doom on them from the Doombringer. Shooter boys looking after the VP. Here come a bunch more orcs. Can they push through on here? What the fellas doing? I think they were trying to burn a bomb the D cannon, maybe. Or they were going after the fire prism. Chunky coach thinking they may lose two to one against the red team. That's a singularity. I think they're far enough away. Oh, that guy wasn't. Time field. D kind of might need to retreat. Down goes the fire prism. I think it was a questionable decision to get the fire prism when there's a bunch of commandos running around and two commando knobs. They're both down at the moment though. Two to one for blue. Can they hold on? Down goes the Farsi grenaded. Was that her own grenade? From her own guardians? I think it was. Yeah, Gepoit doesn't even have any guardians. Grenaded their own Farsi to death. They hang around orcs too long. There's some Love the Daka from the commandos. Fantastic disruption. Here comes Bergatus stunning the things. You still cap when you're stunned though, as long as you're close enough. Nob Squad, more Commandos. Inquisitor, level 10. Done a huge job in combat ever since she got that Inferno Pistol. Might need to throw up her mandate here. There it is. Gives her a speed boost and invulnerability. 
and they're just pouring firepower onto those guys. Here comes a Marco Zinch Chaos Space Marines to Captain Proton. Both of them? Nope, only one of them. Very effective damage type against heavy infantry and super heavy. Nob Squad is heavy infantry, so it may be with a look to those that they got it. 106.67. Fire Prism here to stop caps. Wraith Guard to pour damage on there. Losing a, missing a model right now, but they probably don't want to back off to, gr to grab it. Still have a Webway over here too. And the Seer Council are using it. And they're going to get the D Cannon, I guess. Yes, they are. Whole bunch of stuff to say hello afterwards, though. Doom on the, on the Seer Council. I think they need to run. Your point trying to get them into a decent position first. You don't want to give away that the webway's there. Meanwhile, red team assaulting the VP. 106 to 44. Time field on the double terminators. Oh, they should have finished off those commandos, I think. Oh, they did. They did go on. They got. Webway goes down. Should have just retreated those seer council, I think. Another fire prison for Gipoit. Got some rangers up as well. Help them spot the sneaky commando stuff, I guess. Rocks thrown in. Captain Proton has a single heretic who must run now. One to one, down to 37 VPs, the red team. Is there something over here? There is a knob squad trying to get that VP back, but there's a bunch of stuff here from Rambo stopping it. They're going to be able to deal with them, I think. Yes, they are. There's high-level Catechins doing some work over there. Level 4. Terminator's getting quite low here. See a council going after them alongside the Farseer. And some other Seer council help out. 97-37. 2-1 now for the red team. They have both the naturals. Down goes another fire prison. This time it was the fire dragon that's taking it out. Rambo shows up with some marauding ogrins. Gonna very quickly get rid of that bright glance. Inquisitor's trying to decap, but there's a lot of Daka. That's a singularity ogrins. No, it's not. It's an Eldritch. Don't think it hit anything. It made that stuff retreat, though. Nob Squad against the Ogrins, not a great fight for the Ogrins. Nob Squad just got their Nob Leader. It's a fresh squad though, so they're still level 1. Popping their Frenzy. 80 to 37. Can the blue team get their natural back? The west side is quiet for now and very blue. And they've just completely wiped out the power in the northwest. The red team just couldn't push that west side, even though the Bane Blade is down. Surprised they haven't tripled it. They're really focused on the two naturals. Maybe they don't want to split. If you have everything on the east side and try to control the two naturals, doesn't matter if you don't have the west side, I suppose. Zoranda floating all of the resources over 800 power. Just don't have any population to um, to get anything else on the field. Maybe they're being held back by having triple guardians up, you know. Squad smashing things. Two to one for blue again. We've got red team have a lot of stuff here. They have so much power, the red team. Doesn't really matter that their natural power went down. They've had that eastern contested one for a while now, I think. Terminator's having to retreat, or rather teleport away from the Seer Council. Here comes some blue grins for Rambo. They have those slab shields and they can use use your shield to suppress things. There it is. Taking huge amounts of damage though from level 4 fire dragons and level 4 seer council and they wipe in fact. Huge amounts of damage for those guys there. Sorcerer now has the rod of warp fire. It's a curse of zinch on those seer council I think. It was anyway. One-to-one -one cap. 
blue team taking a natural back again. Who is this? Some commandos called in, I believe, by Shrews operator. Had the Trinity to knock them off the cap. There we go with a shotgun blast. Now close for melee. And they'll deal with them quite handily. And they get a decap though before they chop them all down. Here comes the commando knob. They can get a decap. 80 to 18. This guy have kaboom? Yeah, this guy has kaboom. Just gonna stop a cap with that. There it is. Look at look at the knockback strength of that thing. It's crazy. Commandos coming in. Disrupted by the catagens. What an awesome performance from these catagen devils. Rambo needs to purchase something. I mean, I know it's getting very, very late in the day. 8C to 18. Oh, they've gone for a Bane Blade, really. Another Fire Prism for Kapoit. We'll see if there's time for that Bane Blade to make an appearance. Reinforcement now from Captain Proton. With their death stack of double Terminators and double CSM. Where are the CSM, though? They are covering the east side for now, looking after this VP. The Sorcerer themselves is back at base. Still 80 to 18. Guardians decapping. Nob Squad is here as well. Doom up on the Wraith Guard. There's a nuke from Captain Proton. Wipes out the Guardians. Drags in some knobs as well. Does a bunch of damage in the middle. And they hold on. Nob Squad getting messed up by being dragged around. Now the Seer Counselor here to fight them. And there's the double CSM, one of which has markers each. Singularity and retreat path. Did drag in a Terminator. 80 to 13. It's a no cap game. West side is turning red now. Is it? It is. Plague Marines couldn't see them because they were infiltrated while they decapped. But now it's kicking off. I don't think the Plague Marines can do much about it. But here come Ogrins. And the Bane Blade is on the field. It's not moving though, is it? It is. 80 to 7 VPs. Well played, Inquisitor getting a decap up here using the mandate. Can they make it out? Looks like they're going to make it out. Back to the west side. Things are exploding. Ogrin's doing a great job harassing stuff, but they couldn't stop the cap going in. What capped it? Didn't seem like anything was close enough. 73 to 7. Bane Blade goes to the east side, really. It's under threat from the knob squad, though. Hide the boys being used to infiltrate them by one of the commandos. Here's the Wraith Guard. Maybe suppress them. There we go, they are suppressed. They just wiped out the D cannon, though. So there's momentum rings building up from the U jammers, popping their frenzy as well. 63 to 7. Guardians, I think, will try to get a D cap. There we go. Farseer can throw Doom on the Bane Blade, maybe. They threw up the time field. Threw Guide on the right lance and is now getting shots in. And there's an Eldritch Storm again, I think. It is. Bane Blade dodges it, maybe. No, did get hit. It did get hit. Nob Squad having to retreat, though. Seer Council came in. West side has turned blue again. 63 to 5. There's some Chains of Torment. Level 10 Sorcerer now. And they grab this VP and see this out. They might be able to. Westside is being assaulted again though. But I think it's a bunch of commandos that can't do much. There's the GG, there's the 2-1 to one, and there is the game for the blue team. Well played indeed. They were way behind at some point. And then you just, they just consolidated the west side super well with a bane bait even when it went down the red team couldn't really get on it with all their commandos level 10 sorcerer level 10 inquisitor or level 9 farseer heroes did some heavy lifting over there right eh? level 6 commander knob level 7 commander knob and a level 9 farseer here there you have it guys topsy-turvy awesome game thank you for watching and i'll see you next time